there's a lot of de-aging effects in this film. Mm. As someone who doesn't age, is that scary for you to watch? Paul Rudd, how are you? I'm good, thanks. How are you? I'm wonderful. Now, you're one of the stars of Ant-Man and the Wasp, out in the UK on the 2nd of August. And I want to start off by talking about uh, this little helmet you wear in the film, because right. it's pretty chunky compared to other superheroes. Yeah. Can you, can you hear inside that helmet? I can hear. It's uh, muffled. Sometimes I have to take the lenses out, though, mm -hmm. because when I breathe, they'll fog up. Right. So in some of those scenes, those lenses are digitally added. So when it's you and the wasp both in the helmets talking, mm -hmm. is that just carnage? Uh, yeah, it sounds like we're underwater. Also, it can be really good to have a helmet, and especially one like that, where if there is a really extreme stunt scene. Mm -hmm. Ah! I can't do Ant-Man anymore. And we need stunt men and women to do the work. Uh, we don't have to worry about camera angles or anything so much mm. because their face is covered. That's not normally what happens. Yeah, it's quite cool. Yeah. Now, um, there's some fantastic performances in this film, yourself included, but Thank you. for the screening I was at, it seemed like the show was completely stolen by the actress who plays your daughter. Oh, she's really good. Mommy's so happy you're here, she choked on her drink. <laughs> Maybe the cutest human being alive. Yeah, she's really very sweet. She was so adorable and sweet in the first one, and uh, and she still is in the second. Yeah, how are those scenes when, with you oh, two? It, it, she's fun to act with because sometimes with kids, I always, whenever I'm working with kids, I never worry too much about script or anything. Mm -hmm. I'm, like, I'm just gonna go off what you're doing. Yes. We'll see if we can, and, um, but she's really, her instincts are right on and uh, she's good with memorizing dialogue, all of it. And uh, and I was, I loved filming the scenes with her. Oh, lovely. And we had to do, you know, in the beginning of the film, I'm doing a thing where I build this thing and I'm, I'm under so, house arrest. I'm so jealous of that slide. Yeah, the oh slide was incredible. Yeah. And uh, it's it was real. We were really doing that and mm. all, she just wanted to do it over and over oh, again. I'm as, surprised. Uh, yeah, and that was my big fear actually, was taking my own daughter to see the film and having my own daughter say, will you please build that? <laughs> Uh, in our house too. It was pretty fun, I, yeah. gotta, I gotta say. I was very jealous of that. Yeah. Now, I was um, really pleased to see a little cameo from Tim Heidecker in the film, from Tim and Eric. Nice, nobody has said this yet. I love Tim and Eric. Yeah. And it reminded me that you were on Tim and Eric Awesome Show. That's right. Great job. Yeah. And uh, I don't know if you know, but your little segment is like huge online now. It's a huge meme. Yeah, yeah. Tane well, I can get into. Yeah. And, and all celery that. man. Yeah, celery yeah. man, yeah. Computer load up celery man, please. Yes, Paul. Can you remember anything about filming that? The I internet. Can remember, oh, it's so much about filming that. Amazing. Yeah. It was it was just super funny and weird. I'm a big Tim and Eric fan as well. Um, and when we were doing it, is we we're just kind of making certain things up, mm -hmm. making up the names, doing all sorts of weird dances and things. And I do remember calling up somebody and Tim, it was Tim saying, uh, what about Celery Man? And uh, that just struck me so funny that I couldn't stop laughing over uh, Celery Man. Yeah, yeah, that is amazing. By the way, there's also maybe yeah. a, there's also a little Pet Pet reference in the in Ant Man and the Wasp for the Die Hard Tim and Eric. There movies. is a Pet Pet reference. I didn't realize that was. Oh my god, that's, that's amazing. A deep cut. This film is now 11 stars out of 10. <laughs> there's a lot of de-aging effects in this film. Mm. As someone who doesn't age, is that scary for you to watch? Well, uh, that's where most of the money went to the, to the de-aging effects. On my, as Michael said, it's, it all went to, to me. <laughs> right, right, yeah, right. Yeah, it's, big, it's bigger budget than even the ants. I see, I yeah. see. Uh, last question. Um, this is a Marvel film. Marvel is, of course, owned by Disney. Disney famously made the previous film A Bug's Life. Mm -hmm. Crossover film inevitable at this point? It seems like it would make sense. Yes. Yeah, that they would somehow get us all involved and uh, I mean, the other thing is that this is a franchise with spiders mm -hmm. and uh, black widows and uh, you got Bugs Life. I mean, you could really, I think it writes itself. Basically it does. Yeah. Next year, maybe release date? It might be, I, let me make a call. We're gonna see what the, the schedule is for the ants, see what they're doing. They're the ones you always gotta work around because uh, there's so many outlets these days with you know, all of the streaming services. That's very true, yeah. yeah they're in high demand. Excellent. Well, thank you so much, Paul. It's been great to chat to you. You too. Thank you.